What's up, William Baron here with DarkEffects.net, and once again, we are inside of Adobe Edge Animate, and this is what we're going to be creating today. You can see as the mouse rolls over each one of the menu items, we've got the little, uh, whatever you want to call this over on the side. I, there's a name for it, I just don't remember what it's called, but anyway, this is the effect that we're going to be creating today. So let's go ahead and jump into it. So with our new composition loaded, Let's go ahead and uh, we're going to make this 100% for each. We're going to change our background to black. Let's go ahead and bring out our first menu. And this is going to be called Link 1. And now inside of our Link 1, let's go ahead and change it to 4. Cut off them two sides and change it to 35 for each side. 35. That way you got sort of a rounded edge there, almost like a bullet type of effect. Okay, now the next thing we want to do is grab a hold of our rounded rectangle tool. Go to the top, drag it out, give us another color. Let's move this to the edge. There it goes. Okay, and this right here is going to be our button one and then the next thing we're going to do here is add our link text that's going to be home and we're going to change it to 14 and then we're going to move it down and over Okay, now over here on our side, we want to, our link is our parent, so we want to drag our button into our link, and then our text, drag it right above the button. Okay, now the next thing that we want to do is that we want to create a stop, so let's open up our action, press stop, and now let's go to here, create a label, name it change. Go to our next one, create another label, and name it Stay. And then our next label, we're going to name it Change Back. Okay. So what we're going to do here, let's go to the very beginning, and for our link, we're going to change the color. So we're going to drag this to the edge, and then we're going to change it to red. We're going to come right here to stay. Keyframe there. Keyframe here. Whenever the mouse rolls over this, it will change the color. While we're still on that link, it's going to activate the stay. So that it's going to stay that color. And then we're going to come right here and we're going to change back to this color. So double click, drag it to the edge, and then change it. So now it will change back. So let's go ahead and go inside of our link and do a mouse, a mouse over, and we want to play from our change, and then we want to stop. Yep, we want to dag on it, get down yonder. We want to stop at stay. And then we want to mouse out. And we want to play from our change back. So now whenever we run this, it's changing the color of the wrong thing. Okay, I'm back. I know what I did. Our colors right here, all this stuff, it's not supposed to be on a link. It's supposed to be on a button. So let's go ahead and copy that. Click on the button. Drag this to the edge. Paste it. Come over here. And delete that. Now, when we run it. There we go. So. Fixed that mistake, didn't we? So now, on the next one we are going to do, so it depends on how many that you want to do. Uh, for this one, I'm only going to do two of them. 
to make it a quick one so let's go ahead and you just take the mouse and select this and it's going to select all these items right here so hit control c command c click and then paste and then drag down okay so now we're going to rename this to help somebody help me okay now we're going to come here select all of these well hold it before i do anything come to the edge right here and let's create another stop okay what this stop is going to do is that whenever you run your mouse over and then you remove your mouse and let's say that you got five more and you a menu items down here you remove your mouse from the second one it will continue to highlight or animate each one of the buttons all the way down so if you put a stop here then whenever you remove the mouse from each one of your menu items it will stop it will not continue on throughout the the animation so what we're going to do is that we're going to select all these including our stop come over here choose our button which is going to be button button two couldn't find my two and this also needs to be link two and then we're going to come right here and make sure that button two is selected and hit paste okay change this to two okay for each one of these you want to make sure that they are each their own name so change two change two change two i wouldn't leave it the the default because if you leave it default that just gives you more of the right okay now let's go up here to our link two come to our mouse mouse out and then change that to two and then go to mouse over copy this and then paste it and then you got change two here and stay two there and now whenever you run it home help and whenever you remove the mouse it stops it does not try to do anything else so that is our quick tip today and i uh, hope that y'all enjoyed it once again this is wayne baron with darkfix.net inside of adobe edge animate this is the most recent release which was released about a week and a half ago so anyway y'all have a good one take care